TV stations once used Genlock or House Sync running over a separate and extensive cabling network to keep all the cameras, the switchers, and videotape machines in time with each other. Likewise, digital media networks, such as audio over IP, need all of their devices synced to a single master clock. One of the ingenious technology implementations in LiveWire allows it to quickly select one device as the master clock, and then have all the other devices synchronize their clocks to that master. LiveWire clock does this across the same jittery network that carries audio and other data. In, indeed, this clever sync method used in LiveWire endpoints is actually patented. Each LiveWire device is synchronized to within plus or minus 2.5 microseconds, even though the IP network may exhibit jitter that's really a magnitude worse than, than that. We can see how clock timing is important, just as important perhaps as the numerical values given to the digital audio samples themselves. We know that Quartz-based clocks and watches keep excellent, repeatable time, for example. Uh, why can't our devices simply use the same kind of quartz time basis that our watches and, and clocks may typically use? When you are dealing with media, uh, audio, and the same is true uh, with video as well, and you have these parts of the waveform, when, for instance, when you mix audio together, you are mathematically adding the numbers together, but you have to be adding the parts of the waveform which correspond to the same moments in time. So the problem is, is if every media stream, if every audio stream has its own clock, and, and here's the thing to realize, you can have a precision quartz oscillator. You can have a very precise, uh, what's called an ovenized oscillator, uh, which is very stable. But every oscillator, every chip, every physical device on the planet is going to drift slowly. You know, everybody knows this. Every clock in your house, if you don't set them periodically, um, unless you have one of those cool atomic clocks, which is taking synchronization from a radio signal here in the U.S. from uh, Colorado, um, will drift uh, at its own rate. So um, part of being able to use and combine um, multiple media streams, which of course we do in a broadcast studio, we're, we're dealing with uh, dozens, hundreds, or thousands, in some cases tens of thousands of streams, um, they have to be on the same time base so we can do the things we need to do, like mixing uh, them together. Mm -hmm.